take too much to see desert. After a while, you're not sure which rocks are which anyway. You can rest pretty well assured that you've been on the same ground that the Israelites were on following Moses. Right up in front of us is St. Catherine's Monastery. She was uh, one of the first martyrs. She died up on the mountain, and uh, her body, after she's dead quite a while, started radiating light, and they brought her down and uh, buried her in the monastery. I'm, I highly suspect that the burning bush and the well of Moses is going to be right down here in and near the monastery. So if you're climbing up the mountain to find where the bush was burning, I don't think you'll have to climb too far. Well, we're going to pause here for a little while. Anybody know what's on the other side that summer? More rocks. More of this? <laughs> down the other side. Just like just sailing a ship in the ocean. Day after day, we creaked and not a motion. Water, water everywhere. What comes first, Jay? Are the tablets or the bush? Or huh? What comes first, the tablets or the bush? Like bush is first, tablets are second, says the Bible history. It's better interpreted in terms of rocks and water and food and clothing and shelter. Long walks. Long walks. And, of course, 40 years is a long walk. Mm -hmm. I mean, when God said, take a hike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling they were going in circles. Though. Of course they went in circles. Because mm -hmm. you can walk through this wilderness in less than 40 years. And Moses, after he left Egypt in the beginning, mm -hmm. after he'd killed the Egyptian overseer, he fled into the wilderness, and this is the place he fled to. And he lived here, got married, raised children. They were all over these mountains. It's still a neat experience walking. Well, that's the thing. I mean, a few a few months ago, who'd have thought a bunch of crazy people would be sitting <laughs> on you know Mount in Sinai yeah. in the middle of summer doing this? But then why not? 